so we're going to duplicate this layer over here and we're going to mask out what we want the effect on so i'm going to use row brushing get this out you can use masking as well both work the same way so once you've done that you're going to go into that row brush layer contrast to zero feathering to 10 all right so after that we duplicate the mask layer using Control d then on the bottom mask layer we're going to add fill so I'm going to change this fill color to white because that's what I've been doing so far. Next we're going to add Deep Glow which is a plugin which you can download externally. Make sure you tick the box for required for text. Then we're going to add S underscore halftone from Sapphire. This is what makes the effect actually work. So you can actually affect how many dots you want using the dots frequency on halftone. And then on the deep glow effect, you can change the exposure, which shows how far or close the effect actually is to the mask layer. Or you can change the radius, which increases the spread of the circles. All right, so to achieve the same uh, effect that I have, I keyframe the beginning of the clip with zero on exposure and at the end I change the exposure to 1, 1 1.52, whichever looks best. And then I highlight both keyframes, press F9 on my keyboard and go to the graph editor and then add a quick curve, make it come in quickly and nice. So next, if you want to change the color of the circles, you have to actually change the effect to half tone color on the same plugin. And when you use this effect, it actually adds like an RGB displacement, which looks quite cool. But overall, this means you can change the color of the effect to any color you want.